Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellow1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Uh, uh, shout out to Luis. He sent me the 411 on Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. Remember, I said they did like a little, what you call it, like a little mama shop pop type of press conference when they was on Get Up. Uh, Get Up is a morning show that come on ESPN after like Max Keller and Keyshawn Johnson to Sean Porter. Okay. And he, uh, they revealed that Sean Porter would. Uh, well, Sean Porter on his podcast revealed him and Bud will have a press conference come this Saturday. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. So he said a press conference be going down this weekend. He said, I'm, I'm guessing Saturday, kind of like they did when they went like the Charlo, uh, Jamil Charlo and Castano's like press conference, even though Charlo the only one that showed up when the press conference, like uh, during his brother's bout with uh, Moan Montiel. So, pardon me, I had some coffee this morning. I really ain't a big coffee drinker, but. I had some coffee this morning, so um, let's talk about it. Check out the World's Weight Boxing Playlist. Appreciate it. We'll be coming with some more, some more news pretty soon, man, and um, or some more live show. Hopefully, it's pretty soon. Be different than boxing this week, so we come with a if I can. We come probably a little later tonight, but uh, you know he taking on Terrence Crawford, man, and um, I think that's a fight that we all looking forward to. Um, and I mean, I'm good. They, I'm, I'm I should have figured they was doing a press conference. I heard they're gonna have a 24 seven type. Uh, docu series too uh, as well. So uh, I, I should have figured they was gonna do it on Fury, uh, Fury Wilder, um, Fury Wilder two undercar, right? So uh, I figured they was gonna do that. I should have figured they should do it Fury Wilder three the same Saturday like they did Jamil Charlo. Now my thing is this, um, you know they got to keep this promotion going. You we do know. I mean, if you don't know, we got nine. 10 straight weeks of boxing, man. I talked about that this morning on the live. We got uh this week with Fury Wilder. Next week, we got some double, uh, one double dip, and we got a Friday, Saturday mix, but we got this week, Wilder Fury 3. Uh, next Friday, Nervete taking on Joette Gonzalez. Next Saturday, also, Mikey Garcia taking on Sandor Martin. The week after that is Jamil Heron taking on Shakir Stevenson in the A, Atlanta, for people who don't know. The week after that is Dillian White taking on Ottawa Lynn. We know probably some of these fights will be canceled because of uh, uh, the virus going around, and then the first week in November, Saturday is uh Canelo plant. In the week after Canelo plant, what is after the week after Canelo plant? Um, uh, man, I can't remember what fight. Well, I think it's David Benavidez and um, and uh, David Benavidez and um, jeez, it's Benavidez and shit, somebody Benavidez taking on Uzatagi, and then also it's uh, excuse me. Also, it's uh, excuse me. Also, it's uh, some. It's another fight on that same day. It's another fight on that same day. Man, I can't remember what it is. I'm gonna tell you right now. So Friday, it is Munguia and Gabriel Rosado. And then after that. Benavidez is the same day too. It was a Tagi. Then after that is Crawford and Porter. And after Crawford and Porter, Stephen Foden and um. Figueroa, that's rescheduled. Then after, I think it might be a, a fight the same day as that as well, too. Uh, you got a zone card in there, too, somewhere. Uh, and then after that, it's tanking. Uh, and now, so they tank December 4th. The following week is tanking. Um, we we assume it's Rolly Ramiro. That's what everybody's saying. Big, a lot of people saying that. But uh, then a week after that, or well, a few weeks after that, that's 10 straight weeks. A few weeks after that, Josh Taylor taking on Catterall. So, I mean, at the end of the day, man, it's good. They're going to be doing a press conference. One of the Craw- Crawford going to show a little bit more uh, uh, color, you know, maybe Sean to get him to say something. Like Spence and Sean had a little bit of dialogue. I know that's not Bud, but inside in the ring. And, you know, that's what should really count, being a dog in the ring. But like I said before, I know he got it in him. You know, I you know even Andre Ward said, I know you kind of, you know, you should kind of do it. When Andre Ward said you should step out. Yo, shield and started doing some shit talking. I think you should, but like I said before, he said he don't want to um compromise his integrity to do that. And I ain't mad at him. I mean, shit, wrestlers do it all the time. Floyd did it. I mean, um, like I said before, I think Marvin Hagler kind of did it in his own special way. And Marvin Hagler was, you know, resting power to him. Who got more integrity than Marvin Hagler? You know what I'm saying? So Aaron Pryor did it, but then again, I can't ask this man, force this man to do nothing. He when he get in the ring. Unlike 70% or 80%, 90% of fighters today who talk all that shit and he's colorful, he delivered. You know what I'm saying? He's the most decorated fighter going. I don't care what nobody say. He's the most decorated fighter 
going. I heard somebody somebody said, uh, well, he on Twitter he finally get battle tested. What did you mean? He been battle tested, man. When you you don't have to have names or I can go pull up Marvin Hagler resume, right? And you wouldn't know half the fighters on his resume. But come on, even in some of the losses that was dispute that was disputable in his on his resume, you wouldn't even know who the fuck they was. All right. He was, you know, if you look at Marvin Hagler resume, his first, it took him what 46 fights and he got robbed a few times and got robbed for his first title. You know, you wouldn't, you would say, all oh, them niggas was bums he fought. They was bums, they wasn't bums. Them, them fighters today that he fought in Philadelphia and on the Northeast, they'd be 99% of fighters in the middleweight division. They probably beat every middleweight uh, fighter in the, in the divisions right now. Okay, let's keep it real. You can't, you know, fans, oh, he's, he's not, what you mean, not battle tested? You know, Victor Postal, he got, he been getting robbed, he got better. In his robberies, man, he he beat uh he had he so you could argue that he almost beat Josh Taylor too. He beat uh you know only did he almost beat Josh Taylor, but some people think he did, and he he also really beat Jose Ramirez. You know what I'm saying? Are you talking about guys who are just getting bored? People didn't want to fight getting bored till Crawford stepped up. So I can't say he's not battle tested. Nigga Sean Porter battle tested and getting beat. <laughs> Terrence Crawford being I mean, how can you say a guy who got who got hit on the chin and wobbled by getting bored and battle tested? And came back to and, and came back to knock out again, boy. Sean Porter battling people say, Well, you know, I can't see Bud knocking out Sean Porter. Cool. Well, I look at the film, he should. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, he should knock this motherfucker out. If I am, if I think he and I, I mean it should be like I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna think it's it should be early. I know it's gonna I think it should be early because Sean Porter he lead with his face. It's not to say Terrence Crawford is a better fighter per se than, than his previous opponents, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. Julio Diaz and so on. I'm just saying that, you know, from a stylistic point, it's there. It's there to be had. If he really a good counter puncher and he really the adjuster that we think he is, man, he should this shit, he should be popping bottle eating crab legs, you know, by you know, midnight. Shit by 11 30, to be honest, depending on when the fight start. That's just my opinion on it. You know what I'm saying? And when he when he dog Sean, if he dog Sean Porter out, he don't get no crap. If he get dogged out, he's gonna get ripped. You can get dogged out, Lou Sean Porter dogged out lost opponents, and you know they lost. But you know the press conference gonna be this weekend. Um, somebody said something about uh Timothy Bradley being pulled from the telecast. I think Louis said something like that. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. I, mean, I was watching the Squid Games. That shit good. Can't nobody really hold my attention like that, bro. That's just really good. I like shit that make you think. So, uh, so no, no, no. Somebody was saying that, uh, uh, so I don't know. I don't know. We said that, uh, hold on. Pull up what we said. We said that, dude, they iced Timothy Bradley out of the commentary. Oh, cool. So, you know, he won't be in the commentary. Let me see if I can pull that up. So, we were Fury Wilder versus Fury 3. Common um, Taters. So, I wish he would have sent me. I like when y'all send me links so I can see that shit. Uh, so, yeah, they set the broadcaster for Wilder Fury Fight Week. Um,. Okay, here y'all. You want me to pull that shit up, man? Uh, let me see if I can pull it up for y'all. Because it's it been kind of kicking me out. It's been kicking me out. Early, I got to make sure I keep my eye on it because I ain't trying to get kicked out. See, let me see if I can find it. Oh, there we go right there. See, I'm doing all this. See if you can find it, man. We make it a double dip. I could have made this my own video, but fuck it. I'm ahead of it. I'm ahead, so hold on. Let me go back. Let's go back. See if we can find it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What would he would? I'm gonna say one, two, three, and this is OG. It sounds like so. Here we go. That's my shit. I remember I work with a nigga who don't, he ain't like nobody that sound like Warren G. Cause you know Domino kind of and Sweet Potato Pie and uh, the Ghetto Jam. You know if you watch uh. In Too Deep, that's on. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies. You know, that's a real story too. If you watch In Too Deep, it's on Netflix uh, with L O Cool J Omar Epps. You know, that was about that was about a, a 
a New York drug dealer that actually infiltrated. I want to say infiltrated who broke who shut up shop and um he's alive too. He maintained his energy, who set up shop in Boston. In the movie was Cincinnati being Boston. He set up shop and you know, he said his, his name was actually God, but he said it wasn't no, nothing egotistic. Go buy his book. It wasn't nothing egotistic when he said about God. He was now he was just said that's just something that they called him. And you know, basically the dude that played Omar F's the cop, he ended up committing suicide, they said so. But his only request for the movie was for uh L. Cool J to play him. We'll look that up. So he says ESPN and Fox have announced the broadcast assignments for Wilder Fury for Miles, Wilder Fury three, fight week with former champions and veterans, uh veteran hosts and hall of famers set to call the T Mobile Arena Las Vegas highlights the week. Hey, I throw something there. Miles. Come here, boy. Come here. He be having, he be having bad dreams, man. Sorry, y'all. Come here, buddy. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. My boy had bad dreams. My son. All right. So highlights to oh my, oh my bad, y'all. Highlights to uh week three times heavyweight champion Lance Lewis returns with the undefeated former two divide two division champion 2004 U.S. Olympic medal gold medalist. I think he's the last Olympic gold medalist for America. Andre Ward to call the ring action veteran play by play announcer uh, Brian Kitty. Uh, on set Saturday, October 9th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, helming the uh, helming with the desk will be Fox uh, Sports host Kate Abdul, her finance, with two time welterweight champion Sean Porter, well known ESPN commentator, uh, boxing commentator Max Kellerman. Abdul will also host a weigh in Friday, October 8th, ESPN 2 or Fox Sports 2 at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and main event press conference Wednesday, October 6th, ESPN 2 FS1. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Joining her for the weigh-in are Sean Porter, Lennox Lewis, Andre Ward, Kenny Monterey's the main event press conference. So there you go right there. Uh, Fox PBC reporter Haiti Adraw will join the ESPN's commentator uh, Bernardo uh, Usuno to handle reporting duties on fighting at Usuno. will also handle the fighters' interviews during the weigh-in show and serve interpreter on Friday on fight night, excuse me, while the I... International Boxing Hall of Famer Larry Hazard returns as an unofficial scorer and rule expert. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Um, we got Spanish in there. He says uh, for the Spanish commentary. Uh, oh, no, I just missed it. Spanish rounding out the uh, broadcasting lineup is uh, is in ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr., who appear at all three events. The Hall of Famer returns after announcing Wilder Fury 2. Spanish language coverage for Fury Wilder 3 includes play by play from Fox Deportes, Adrian Garcia Marquez, and four uh, weight world champion Aaron Morales, along with fame ESPN Deportes broadcaster David, I can't pretend but then I can't pronounce that name. Veteran ESPN Deportes boxing journalist Carlos Neve with endless Deportes. Jamie Minor provides live report and interview ringside. So there you go, there you go, there you go. So, um, Water three, Water Fury three will have you uh, will include a unique mixture of in, innovative camera mounts, super slow motion, high resolution. Fox Sports will add a pair of jet cam cranes on the opposite sides of the ring, one with the ability to move up to 100 feet along a track from one side of the venue to the other. A dynamic, a mini three axis cable cable camera functioning as a weird drone. On the reverse side of the ring will fly over the audience. A super high resolution C360 camera will be used above the ring to place a conventional robotic overhead to allow infinity zoom and pan functions to the position. I don't know shit about that. Okay, there you go. There we go. It says additionally, Fox Sports will have a um, ultra slow motion camera on the reverse side of the ring, sporting one of a kind resolution lens to give a cinematic uh, rage and bull feel to the replayers. In addition, there will be several wireless cameras, including Fox Sports, uh, Megalodon, shallow depth uh, of the field camera made famous as part of Fox NFL coverage last season. Of the 30 plus cameras, all ring coverage will be super slow-mo on the front, on the audio front. Fox Sports will employ more than 50 wired and wireless microphones, including mics on the reverse, on the referees and trainers. So there you got it too, man. I remember I worked the, I think I worked the Monday night game. I think it was Sunday, a Monday night game when I used to work down the fourth field with the Lions play. And uh, I seen all the little, the little cameras and shit they were setting up before the game. So they used to feed us before the game and during the game. We get used to get there hella early and shit. And I used to see, uh, 
I just see all the cameras and stuff and the camera they talking about that go from the zip lines to go one side of the field to the other side of the field and stuff of that nature. So it's actually pretty cool to see. But hey, uh, other than that, uh, Tim Bradley not going to be commentating. He, you know, I don't know if Tim didn't want to commentate. They couldn't find room for Tim. But he just signed. A, he just signed a new contract not too long ago too. So that is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the nut. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link description. Best way to donate, share the video, subscribe to the channel, thumb up. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group. If you got a business question, inquiry, response, your video question, advertise the channel. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know in the comment section. Peace. Check out the boxing news and what's what's way comments playlist too.